she had a lot of, of uh, symptoms that were associated with the flu, basically. Uh, and, but she didn't seem to get any better. But lupus hits all of the organs that are surrounded by serous membranes. The kidneys was the first of her organs to go. He took a very, very personal interest in her and wanted to see her survive as long as possible. So he went to bat for her with the, uh, the hooded selection committee downtown. And uh, I can remember this Sunday afternoon, he called us in and said they turned her down. But don't despair, I'm gonna pursue some other avenues. And, and eventually, uh, called in his chips and, and got Las Bab involved. My conception of a scientist is not Les Bab. He was a very friendly, warm, uh, compassionate individual uh, and a joy, a joy to uh, having your life. And just as humane in his feelings for Caroline as Dr. Scribner was, she had some caring people really in her corner. She ultimately was financed by the Hartford Foundation through a grant designed to prove or disprove that civilians, laymen, could be trained to be renal nurses and technicians. There were doctors from all over the world that came in to observe what we were doing. One of the things back then that was so strange to people from other parts of the world were that here I was a layman and I was allowed to administer blood transfusions. I wasn't a nurse and you know that's taboo. She'd come home from school in the afternoon and get ready to go on dialysis and then I'd put her on, and then she'd sleep, and I'd stay awake. Um, and then she'd come off about 6 o'clock in the morning, and that would give her a little time just to rest and get breakfast and, and get on to school. So we had a, a routine uh, set up. Uh, I had a little sleep deprivation involved in there, but, you know, you do what you have to do. She was a very uh, warm warm individual. She had beautiful, naturally curly hair and uh, was very talented at the piano, uh, was president of the Honor Society and uh, was a leader, a leader type as opposed to being a follower. Uh, a happy girl. And she was 19 when she died. When you're getting in on the ground floor of a whole new procedure, uh, at least I felt I wanted to see where it's all gonna where where it's all gonna end. And uh, if I can contribute anything at all that would expedite a permanent solution to end stage renal disease, my goodness, I want to do it because I want to see an end to it. I would like to see a, a cure, not a, just a treatment. And uh, I think we're getting that close.